Hello, and welcome to a special report on the Telesto Space Tug's docking with Titan Station. Uh, here you see a simulated view of the Space Tug atop the second stage of the Saturn 9A rocket, which launched it a few days ago. And uh, here you see the, the rocket lighting in order to correct the inclination for the Telesto so that it can approach the station properly. It was only a brief burn. Following that, the Telesto made its own retro burn as it approached within the 10 kilometer radius of the station, thereby matching speeds with the station. Unfortunately, the station's own camera was not in a good position to view the approach of the Telesto, so from here on out it will be almost entirely simulated views or otherwise uh, camera drones. So here is a view of the Telesto as it approached the station. This is within the 2 kilometer radius, the safe zone of the station. The docking was scheduled to be in daylight and here you see that the Telesto is properly lit and uh, we will be in full daylight for the actual docking. Uh, previous dockings had occurred mostly at night so this is a welcome reprieve from the darkness in those stoppings. You can now see clearly the functional shape of the Telesto, the fact that it is uh, more or less a fuel tank with the advanced grabbing unit attached to the front of it and of course uh, docking ports wherever they could fit. So that is the basic layout of the tug. Uh, no, no frills, nothing surprising. That of course helped to keep its costs down as uh, there were no, no non-utilitarian features of the space tug. Here the Telesto entered within the one kilometer range and there were only a few scheduled thruster burns left after that is simply RCS. All of this occurs very slowly and the space tug is below uh, 2 meters per second and here the thrusters fire to bring it below 1 meter per second as it approaches within the 500 meter radius of the station. After that it was mostly below 0.5 meters per second as it's approached. It's worth remembering that uh, even without a load, the space tug does not accelerate very quickly. It's got a thrust weight ratio, when full, as it is now, of 0 0.04. It was not meant to push things around with particular vigor. And so everything has to be done very patiently with it. And here we see that it's beginning the line, uh, procedure to line up with the axis of the station. After passing within the two kilometer range, uh, control was given over to Jeb Kerman on board the station. And so here you can see Jeb bringing it over to the correct side of the station, which is opposite the solar panel array, as you can see over there, uh, sort of next to the Calypso refueling, the resupply vessel that carries the food, water, and oxygen, as well as some MMH and N204 to the station. And here, continuing to line up with the axis of the station, now you can see the orientation of the camera matching the axis of the station. And then uh, maneuvering to the, the plane of the docking port. Quite elegant and patient work by Jeb this time, as uh, life in space has evidently uh, calmed him down a bit and allowed him to focus on things. So he's... Uh, he was very cautious about bringing the craft in, much more so than we've seen from him before. And here it is lined up for the final approach to the docking port. Uh, velocities at this point uh, below 0.15 meters per second. Nice view of the planet from here. And this is a camera drone view, all of the views close to the station are camera drone views.
Now you see it uh, within six meters of the station. While all seems to be well, uh, sometimes unpredictable occurrences can happen as we've seen with other dockings before where one system for some reason decides to override another Telemachus, Smart ASS, or uh, any of the other systems aboard either the station or the craft. It is a little bit helpful to have Jeb doing this all manually though as, as he has switched off most of the systems beforehand. And so here we go uh, within one meter. Again, coming in very slowly. No need to rely too much on docking port magnetism here. It looks quite well lined up. And there it is. The and Jeb reporting the Telesto space tug properly docked to the station. The Kerbals will check out the Telesto space tug's many systems to make sure that everything is all right for uh, future uh, plans, future missions, uh, payload tugging, as well as, of course, any emergency missions they might have, for instance. Uh, protecting the station from debris or uh, just clearing debris from low earth orbit. Uh, there is a lot of debris in low earth orbit after all so uh, they could conduct those kinds of missions and uh, so they will make sure that the space tug is in proper shape for all of that as we see the, the station magnificently above the earth and uh, with that Thank you for watching the docking of the Telesto Space Tug to Titan Station and we hope you will join us for future missions and with this we expect to see uh, quite a lot of interesting missions, uh, station building missions uh, though uh, at this point the station is uh, certainly lagging our simulation software quite significantly but uh, with that Space Tug we will be adding modules to Titan Station so tune in for that. We hope you enjoyed watching and with that this is the EDB signing off.